Next question, all of the following are true about this procedure except. So, what is this? This is actually the direct ophthalmoscopy. This is the direct ophthalmoscopy and we are going to see what is false about this. It can be done with the patient in any position. This is true. No stereopsis. This is also true. Can be done in hazy media. No. It cannot be done in hazy media and periphery cannot be examined. This is also true. So, answer to this question is C. Now, let us see why. See, when you compare between the direct ophthalmoscopy and the indirect ophthalmoscopy, always remember that direct ophthalmoscopy is here just used for the central retina. While it is the indirect basically which is used for the periphery because the area which is seen by direct is very very small just two disc diameter. It is just the two disc diameter and one disc diameter is 1.5 mm. This is 1.5 mm. Now periphery you can see much larger. This is your eight disc diameter. Similarly, if you look at the image formation, image by the direct uh, ophthalmoscopy is virtual, erect and magnified. By the indirect, it is real, it is inverted and it is magnified. So, you can easily remember by the VEM and by the RIM. While magnification here is 15 times, in the indirect, it is 5 times. Now, one is good at magnification and one is good at the area. So, if it is a hazy media, suppose, okay. Hazy media means we can have the aqueous turbidity, we can have vitritis, we can have cataract. So, obviously, I require a larger area. I will not do this to this diameter because suppose there is a cataract, okay. Suppose there is a cataract, cataract is in the lens. Lens ka diameter is 9 to 10 mm. And if I do this direct of thermoscopy, I will see two disc diameter. 2 into 1.5 means 3 mm. So, obviously, this will go behind the lens. I will not be able to see. So, this is actually better in the hazy media. Therefore, if you look at the question, it can be used in the hazy media is absolutely wrong. Okay.